Welcome back to my let's play of Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. This time we are going to the Scooby-Doo area. The roof is a bit slippery. Where I go? Can be lured a bit, like they're really hard to lure. Nothing else down here other than this. Run, roll, the gargoyle! Run! 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 later to kill this guy, but you can very much just kill him immediately. Run! Match! Out! Run! Yeah, I think you can kill him. Run! Now that he's awake, he'll wander a little. Costume. It basically allows you to use the lampshade Creepers! It's the creeper! Lampshade and sleeper, slippers without having to stand still. It's basically what it does. It's the, uh, it there I go! Right. 
supposed to be a return path, but Scooby Snacks on it. So. Oh yeah, I don't think it goes back, so you do have to. Oh. Rock roll, the gargoyle. Yahoo! All of these enemies are from various Scooby Doo show episodes. Maybe some mo- maybe a- I don't think there was a movie at the time. <laughs> three keys to open that door. There are three keys in this area. Here's the first door. I should be able to get everything in this one. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone that every enemy that targets you specifically is affected by Ruby Snacks. Right. Yeah, every enemy that targets you specifically is affected by the disguises. The right. and slippers. Both the and slippers. Rolling. Rolling. That's another area complete. I should have a thing in the comment section, or not comment, in the description saying. How many complete areas there are, and how many, uh... Yeah, how many, uh... Wrong one. Yeah, as you can see, I've 100% of this game before. I think I'm gonna go back through after I'm done recording today, and... Complete. Right. Remaining the ones that are not complete currently. That is a shortcut for later when we have an item for that. It makes getting past a lot of these enemies a lot easier. Rummy. Especially if they're hard to see, like the... the rats. Oh. Right! Oh. It's a headless specter! Oh. Right! Oh, it's a spider right there. I get hit on that a lot. Right. Rolling. No, you can't. Yeah. Camera. The camera can mess up sometimes. I've had audio glitches. Right. The GameCube version. I've had glitches. Like, all monster tokens unlocked from the very start right. of the game. And this it's the Headless Spectre! This version. <laughs> Which, all monster tokens unlocked at the very start of the game is... ...not very useful. Yeah. Rolly! Yeah. Once you get that, you can just completely bypass some things. Most areas have a snap gate. Have one of those, uh, work gates somewhere in them. There's a slide section. 
I'm gonna go around right <laughs> now. If I got the snack. Right. <laughs> I'm probably saying through the ball. Rummy! Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you can't make that without double jump, so. Yeah. Well, part of the percentage is. The Scooby Snacks, most of it is power ups. About half it, well, about half of it is power ups. There is a cheat code that allows you to unlock all the power ups immediately. Probably. And it gives you about 50 ish percent. Right. On some games, I will show off the cheat code. I will show off the cheat codes if they're not just unlock stuff. If they're at all interesting to show off. Like this one is just unlock stuff. It's just unlock all levels, unlock all power ups. Or unlock all the games and unlock all the power ups. Or the meat or the cheat codes. Which that's not very interesting. Unless you're doing like a, a cheat code, a speedrun that allows cheat codes, then. Which there is one for this game, cheat percent. Uh. What? I will show cheat codes often. It's either two or three from now. Well, I know the one. I'm gonna be doing a one more Scooby Doo game, and I'm gonna be switching game series. Well, you know what? No. I'll be. I'll take a break from the Scooby Doo game first. For a sec. Right! After this Mr. Service. Headless Spectre! Love it! The main reason I'm doing this one now instead of later is because of... Really? Wait, how are you back? This one now instead of later is because I want to... Ruby Snacks! This series not to feel too out of place from the last one. A lot of the time for games like this, I, I I only see long plays instead of like a let's play. Those long plays are just the entire game in one video. Ruby's nice. And you do get everything in them, but most people like to watch it, watch video games like this. Part. Many people like to watch games and multiple parts rather than one sitting. So Right! It's a headless specter! Sometimes it's nice just to Right! Uh, although and long plays don't have time to read. There are some let's play of the game of this game, but they're not they're they don't have very good quality half the time. Sometimes they're the main reason I started doing this 
because I got I couldn't find any sort of videos on games like the ones I've played that aren't just the whole it's game in one video. Game. Although that's probably because it has short. Right. So. Alright, looks like we'll get this area done in this video, so... Now we're on the roof. Yep. There. Yeah, I think we'll get this area done. Yeah, you gotta be careful of these pedals with the lightning. Um, this room. Right. I mean, there are those things of lightning. They're only really straight to the pedals. So. Ruby snacks! If you're not on the pedals, you're fine. That is a team. Right. Dang it. Right. Some rooms like this one require. A yeah, this room does require a power up to get a later upgrade to power up. So I'm not gonna be too worried about that. Right! This is a headless specter! Once you push that button, it becomes oh, possible to get up here without Shaggy. Back up if you don't have the way back up for now. Right, right. I don't think that witch does anything anymore. I think it's just there. 
for now. Oh. Shaggy is, is always here as well in order to prevent softbox. Prevent you from missing Scooby Snacks. Ruby Snacks! Okay, I didn't have that. That's good. Almost always better just to hurt, pull down our one. Even though I'm gonna have to go back to the Run. previous room, it's more of a hassle just to get that one snack. These do hurt you if you land up, if you step on them. Alright, it's a war day. And this will be the final room before I end the, the video. This room. Bunch of help, healing, and a save. Pretty obvious what's about to happen. Boss fight. <laughs> ah, the infamous Gooby Doo. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the mastermind. Oh. I'm the reason you're here. You are? I'm the one who made Professor Graham disappear. You did? I'm also the one who's brought back all of your old foes. But why? That is a mystery you will never solve. And one more thing, I'm the one who's kidnapped all your friends. <laughs> Elma! Scooby-Doo! See if you can get past this fiendish fright. You remember the Black Knight. Boom. <laughs> Elma, he disappeared. We'll worry about that later, Scooby. Watch out! It's the Black Knight! Oh, no! <laughs> right. Boss fight. <laughs> Pretty much you just have to hit him by the way. of the song. My glasses. I feel like these songs Help are probably going to be quite copyrighted. Okay. But... Something fishy.
fishies going on here, Scooby. We solved the mystery of the Black Knight ages ago. Have you found any clues? I don't know. There was a spooky groundskeeper. A spooky groundskeeper? Yeah, and ghosts and, and monsters. Scooby-Doo, you know there's no such thing as monsters and ghosts. Remember the first time we met the Black Knight? We thought he was a monster, but really he was just a guy in a mask. Aha! I found him! Jinkies! The lenses got knocked out! Where's some lenses, Velma? Thanks, Scooby. I can't see a thing without these. Jinkies! Scooby! It's the Creeper! The Creeper? Where? He's... he's everywhere! Run, Scooby! Velma! Wait! I don't see any Creeper. Why, hello there. Hmm. Hello. I'm Professor Alexander Graham. <laughs> and you found one of my amazing invention crates. Let's see now. What's in this one? Uh, oh, here we go. Well, inside this box, you should either find my automated herring scraper or my anti-stick galoshes. <laughs> oh, looks like it's the galoshes. With these, you can walk across any sticky surface and not get stuck. And best of all, <laughs> they're banana flavored. Oh, banana. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> these might be useful. Yep. Now we can walk on the tar without getting stuck. When we go. So, next up is. So that'll be all for now. Well, let's... Right. let's clear out the right. Right quick. Yep, here's a... Uh... It's a warp gate! Now we can... Walk on the tar without... and jump and attack and stuff. Although, that'll be it for now. Next time we'll be going back to the end of the harbor. And we'll be continuing on with there.